abundance, a river of life in your word, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Thank you for your glory, Lord. We come to the place where you are enthroned this morning, Jesus. And we just say you're worthy of our praise, Lord. You're worthy of adoration and glory and honor this morning, Lord. Holy Spirit, we pray you reveal Jesus this morning. We're hungry, Lord. We're desperate, Lord. We, we need to see you in new ways every day, Lord. We ask for fresh bread from heaven this morning. Come, Holy Spirit. I stand. 
Yes, Lord, we just pray for a spirit of wisdom and revelation this morning. Lord, we just come with honor, Lord, and in our hearts, Lord, we know that you are seated high above, Lord, on a throne, that you are holy, Jesus. So, Lord, we just come with a desire this morning, Lord, to meet with you and to see you afresh, Lord. We just cry out for a spirit of wisdom, Lord, and revelation and the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray you reveal, Lord, your word, God, that your spirit would come and reveal Jesus. Jesus, we thank you this morning that you have shed your blood so that we can come before you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you have given your body to us, Lord, so that we can come boldly before you, Jesus. So, Lord, we come this morning, Lord. We come boldly, Lord. We come into the place of glory, Lord, where you reveal your beauty to us, Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Go 
Jesus, Lord, we give you all glory this morning. We're reading from Revelation 1, chapter 7. I'm just going to read it. Uh, chapter 1, verse 7 says, Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him. Even those who pierced him and all the tribes of the earth will will on account of him. Even so, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. I, John, your brother and partner in the tribulation and in the kingdom and in the patient endurance that are in Jesus, was on the island called Patmos on the account of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and I heard behind me a loud voice saying, Jesus, we just say this morning, we want to hear your voice, Lord. Jesus, we want to turn and hear your voice speaking to us this morning. Lord, we just pray that we would hear you this morning, Lord, like John heard your voice. It says, then I turned to see the voice that was speaking to me. And on turning, I saw seven golden lampstands, and in the midst of the lampstands was one like the Son of Man, clothed in a long robe with a golden sash around his chest. The hairs of his head were white, like white wool, like snow, and his eyes were like a flame of fire. His feet were like burnished bronze refined in a furnace, and his voice was like the roar of many waters. Jesus, we want to see you this morning as the one who has eyes of fire. Lord, your eyes that are filled with fire speak of your jealous desire, Lord, that you would have all of who we are. So, Lord, we offer ourselves to you this morning. Jesus, we look to you this morning, to the eyes of fire. We just offer our lives wholeheartedly to you, Jesus. We say you're worth all of our lives, Lord. Jesus, we want to turn like John did and hear your voice speaking to us this morning. Open up your word to us this morning, Lord Jesus. Open up your word to us. Speak to us, Lord. We pray for revelation and wisdom to see Jesus this morning. Oh, Lord, we come hungry this morning. We come thirsty, Lord. We come before your throne, Lord. Give us revelation of the throne room of God this morning. Give us revelation, Lord, of worship around your throne this morning, Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit. Show us the eyes of fire. Jesus, we love you this morning. Jesus, we love you this morning. Oh, Jesus, we want to match your desire with our desire this morning. We come hungry this morning, Lord. Come, Holy Spirit.
feels like fire My heart is yours Know your voice like waters It calms the storms I know your eyes like fire Oh, my heart is yours I know your voice I know your voice like waters It calms the storms Like waters, it calms the storms. Yeah, I know the eyes like fire. My heart is yours. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, your voice like water. Comes a storm. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. It only takes a whisper, Lord. Lord, that it only takes you to say one word to us, Lord, and every storm in our life ceases to exist, Jesus. When you speak, there's peace. Lord, when you speak, anxiety fades, Lord. When you speak, Lord, every storm ceases to exist, Lord. We pray that we would hear your voice this morning, Lord. Thank you. It only takes one glimpse of your face, Lord, and every lesser lover fades away. Jesus, it just takes a moment in your presence, Lord, and every addiction is broken, Lord. Every lesser lover fades away. Jesus, we pray you give us, Lord, just a glimpse, Lord, just a moment in your glory this morning. Lord, we pray we would hear your voice, Lord. Come, Holy Spirit. Lord, we turn to you this morning, Lord, and we want to hear, Lord, your voice, and we want to see the one who is speaking to us this morning. Jesus, thank you, Lord, that the scripture says that your face is shining like the sun in full strength. Lord, we want to see your shining face, Lord, your eyes of fire.
rather have one moment in your glory, Lord, than a thousand lifetimes in the world. Jesus, we just come this morning, Lord, thankful for your presence, Jesus. Shine on us this morning, Lord. Cause your face to shine on us, Jesus. You're radiant in glory, Lord. Power comes from your being, Jesus. We just come to you, Lord. Let the train of your robe, Lord, fill the temple this morning, Lord. There's no one like you, Jesus. There's no one like you in the heavens or on the earth. There is no one like you in the heavens or on the earth. There is no one like you in the heavens or on the earth. like yours, Jesus. Jesus, we pray you make your voice louder to us, Lord, than all the voices of the world, Lord. We pray, Lord, that as you're speaking to us through your word, Lord, that 
we would hear it, Lord, with the deepest parts of our hearts, Lord. We pray we would hear you speaking, Lord, that you care about us, Lord, that you love us, Lord, that you delight in us, Jesus. We thank you for your love this morning. There's no love like your love, Jesus. There's no place that we can come to to be satisfied except your presence, Jesus. Lord, we come to you with the deepest longings of our heart this morning. We acknowledge, Lord, that we're nothing without your love, Lord, that unless we see you, Lord, unless we hear you, Lord, that our lives are empty, Lord. We want to see you, Lord. We want to hear you, Lord, this morning. Satisfy us this morning in your love, Lord. We pray that you would meet us in an unexpected way, Lord. We come, Lord, we just say you're worthy of praise and adoration and glory this morning. Satisfy my soul. Come, Holy Spirit. You satisfy my soul. Oh, you satisfy my soul. Satisfy my soul, Lord. Oh, you satisfy my soul. Oh, love is this. You satisfy my soul. Yes, Lord. Oh, love is this. You satisfy my soul. Satisfy my soul. You satisfy my soul. Thank you, Jesus. You satisfy my soul. Satisfy us this morning. Satisfy us with the words that come from your mouth, Jesus. Oh Jesus, we're hungry this morning. You satisfy my soul, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. You satisfy my soul. Fill your beauty, Lord, this morning and satisfy us, Lord. Satisfy our eyes, Lord, as we look to you, Jesus. Satisfy my soul. Satisfy our souls, Lord, as we look to you, Jesus. You satisfy my soul. Blood has been offered in the Holy of Holies, Lord. It's in this holy place, Lord, that we're satisfied, Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit.
exalting Jesus, giving him all the glory. We're going to worship for the next 30 to 40 minutes and then jump into some intercession. Uh, we're going to be praying for uh, campuses across America and Europe today. We're going to be praying for a revival on college campuses a little bit later. But Jesus has been meeting us with the revelation of his glory this morning. And so as we jump into this corporate set, if you could just stand with us. If you want to come to the front, you can. We're just going to engage with all of our hearts uh, this morning. The Bible says that um, out of your belly will come a river of living water. And I just feel like there's rivers from heaven and of worship and glory this morning that we're stepping into. And so here's what I want to do. We're going to keep worshiping and exalting Jesus. But if you could just lift your hands just for a couple moments. Um, and let's just begin to tell Jesus that he is beautiful, that he's glorious. Let's begin to enter in with thanksgiving and let's enter with hunger this morning. I believe there's a special uh, open heavens this morning if we come unified in our hunger this morning. So lift your hands, Jesus. We begin to thank you this morning, Lord. We come with hunger and expectation, Jesus. We thank you that you reveal your glory to us. Begin now out loud, just tell Jesus, thank you for your glory, Jesus. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for the revelation of the beauty of Jesus. Thank you for your river of living water, Lord. You satisfy us this morning in your presence, Jesus. Lord, we pray you'd catch this room up, Lord, in a revelation of Jesus this morning. Come on, just begin to cry out. Say, come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill this room with the glory of God. We worship you this morning, Jesus. Come on, let's sing this out together with all of our heart. You satisfy my soul.
Just as we, as we enter in this morning, <clears throat> just want to create a moment for the Lord to just like, literally just receive everything that He's worthy of this morning. So, let's just do this. Let's just, as we transition into the first song, I don't, I mean, I know that there's like this, I just don't want to create just like a set that we've just done before. Like I really want the Lord to just receive what He wants this morning. Um, and we, we, may, we may not know what that is yet. We may not know the response that he wants, but let's just pray in the spirit. Just, just for the, just the first maybe two minutes, just tell the Lord. Even just tell your spirit, man, to just wake up. Maybe, maybe you're sleepy. Maybe you're like, ah, oh, Lord, I don't know. I don't muster up my own strength. It's probably because you're not meant to do it that way. So let's just pray together. Just pray in the spirit all throughout this room. Just tell your spirit, man, to wake up this morning come into agreement with what the Lord wants you to bring as an offering this morning.
Teach us to pray, Holy Spirit. And teach us to pray, Holy Spirit. Oh, this is intercession we're asking for. Oh, teach us to pray, Holy Spirit. Teach us to pray, Holy Spirit. Teach us to pray. We don't know how to pray. We don't know how to pray. Come teach us. Intercession. Teach us to pray, Holy Spirit. Teach us to pray, Holy Spirit. Teach us to pray, Holy Spirit. Oh, it's this ministry. It's this ministry. Oh, teach us. Teach us to pray, Holy Spirit.
going to keep singing this, but I just feel like there's a revelation of Jesus this morning for all of us to catch in this room. And so let's just turn all of our attention, the attention of our hearts to Jesus. What we're singing is who is like Jesus. We're going to keep singing this. But I want us to look for just a moment to the cross of Jesus Christ where his blood was shed and say, who is like the Lord? Let's look for a moment to the resurrection of Jesus Christ and say, who is like the Lord? Let's look to a future day when Jesus will split the sky and return for a glorious bride and say, who is like the Lord? Jesus, we just look to you. We say, no one can heal like you can, Jesus. No one can save like you can, Jesus. No one can deliver like you can, Jesus. No one made a public spectacle of the enemy like you did, Jesus. Oh, no one is worthy of worship like you are, Jesus. Come on, just begin to lift your voice. Say, Jesus, you're worthy of my worship this morning. Who is like you, Lord? Oh, you hold the whole world together, and yet you're intimate with us, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, you carry the world in the palm of your hand, yet you care for the pain of each individual. Who is like the Lord? Who is like the Lord? Jesus, you shed your own blood for our redemption. Who is like you, Lord? There's none like you, Jesus. You're the bridegroom, Jesus. You're the king, Lord. You're a friend, Jesus. You're the one who's returning with fire in his eyes. Who is like the Lord? Who is like the Lord? Oh, 
let's all just lift our voices and begin to worship.
sing um, a new song. I feel like just the Lord is just like, I don't know if it's just me who's been wrecking me about like not getting too busy and just simply just like sitting with them. I've been wrecked by John 15 is talking about you are the branch and I'm the vine. You abide in me and you ask of anything and I'll give it to you. And sometimes we just forget, we get caught in ministry and we get caught in just doing things. The Lord doesn't have time to tend to our hearts. So we're into this new song. Uh, we just wanna get lost in Jesus this morning. That's the only, it's really the only place you wanna go with this. So let's just do it. this morning to sit with you this morning take care of our busy minds teach us
Seu ir, seu ir. 
by you on Tater coming after me. There's no shadow you won't light, mountain you won't climb up coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down coming after me. We're going to jump into some intercession in these last few moments together. Um, in about six weeks, we have uh, our Carry the Love Tours, Brave Love Tours, Black Voices Tours starting. I think we're going to over 400 campuses in America, Europe. And so we're going to be praying this morning for universities. Um, here's how we're going to do it this morning. It might be a little bit different, but we're actually we're going to all pray corporately, and we're going to go after two things together. Um, we're going to ask the Lord to pour out His Spirit in America on every university. But first, we're going to ask the Lord for a refreshing of His fire in our own lives. There's uh, the most successful in America, one of the most successful drug rehabs was Teen Challenge. And what they found was that the most effective way to see someone receive freedom was the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And that that was actually, it became one of the number one things they would go after to see freedom and breakthrough in people's lives. When John the Baptist was asked um, about Jesus, he said, I baptize with water, but there is one coming and he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. The Bible says that Jesus is the baptizer of the Holy Spirit and fire. The Bible also says Jesus is talking to his disciples. He says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. He says, if, if even a good earthly father gives good gifts to his son, how much more will I pour out the Holy Spirit if you ask? And so here's how we're going to engage this morning. We're going to all engage in faith. I'm going to ask that every single person as we pray would lift your voice. If you're able to, I want you to stand. But there's something about desperation and hunger that Jesus responds to. Um, it seems like when Jesus sees desperation and hunger, there is a radical response of his love and his mercy in the scripture. And so here's what we're going to do. I want you, if you're able again, to stand. And we're going to all corporately together, we're going to lift our voices as long and loud as we think that we need to. And we're going to ask God for a baptism of the Holy fire we're going to start with point number one asking for refreshing for ourselves and then we're going to ask for the campuses of america 
morning? You guys ready to pray? Okay, that was like kind of convincing. Are you guys ready to pray? So I'm going to count to three, and I want us to lift up the most hungry, desperate cry that you can that is authentic in your heart, asking Jesus for a baptism of fire in your own life, that he would refine you in his fire, that he would clothe you in his fire, that his spirit would consume your life. Are you guys ready? All right, one, two, three, let's pray. Jesus, we ask for a baptism of fire this morning. Jesus, we pray that you would clothe us in fire, Lord. We just pray, Lord, you would burn everything out of us that needs to go, Jesus. We pray for a baptism, Lord. We pray for refreshing this morning. Holy Spirit, you would fill us afresh this morning. Lead us in prayer, Holy Spirit. on every 
every university campus, give us souls on this tour, Jesus. This is your harvest, Jesus. This is your reward. Save the lost, Jesus. our eyes back on him so if you want to you can uh, just turn your attention you come to the front we're going to just respond giving Jesus all of the worship and the glory that he's worth knowing that he will respond to our prayer that he will answer when we cry out in honesty because the Bible says ask and it will be given so we're asking with faith knowing the will of God is to save the will of God is to pour out his spirit and we're trusting that he's going to go with us everywhere we go and that people are going to be saved, healed, delivered, lives redeemed and restored. So let's just put our attention back on Jesus for a moment. The band's going to lead us. Just lift your hands and look to Jesus. Let's just say thank you, Jesus, that you're doing it. Thank you that you're revealing yourself to a generation, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you're the one who's doing it, that your glory stands apart, Jesus. You're drawing a generation to yourself through the cross, Jesus. together.
good. Can we just give one more last 30 seconds of thanksgiving to Jesus? Jesus, we thank you for this morning. Thank you, Jesus. We just so grateful, Lord. We get to worship you in your presence, Lord. So grateful, Lord, that you've chosen us out of darkness. You've saved us, Lord. And you're using us, Lord, to reach a generation, Jesus. What a joy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for revealing yourself, Lord. Thank you for your spirit this morning, Jesus. In Jesus' name, everybody said...